murder in the eyes. She looked around the city nights. The canopy provided by the trees made this street darker than others. Low-hanging branches and leaves flecked shadow into the metallic orange light painting the sidewalks. A sociopath stood unseen, camouflaged against the papered concrete walls like a barred owl. She sensed him and he sensed her sensing him. Were she only distracted by an iPhone or earbuds, he thought. But he would not be disappointed standing there, silently watching her navigate the street in her fishnets and heels. Only his pupils moved across the smudge of cirrhotic, ashen pale of eyes. In the walkway between buildings, not far from there, beneath the basement's apartment window well, out of sight, lay the crumpled, formless residue of human life and spirit, breathless and emptying itself of fluid. The spirit of the dead hung heavily over the sociopath, like a large cotton overcoat immersed in a pool of blood of all the ones had died by his hand in the night. A parade of frozen faces preoccupied his mind, his thoughts. She gripped her pepper spray tight. She knew the unnatural evils under city lights might come out of the woodwork to contend with her sex. She remained unafraid, carrying herself gracefully across the pavements, aware the heavies were awash in their own karma. Some terror of what one has done and cannot undo. The gyre of samsara spinning down toward the core of the earth. For infinity. Forever.